So about 5.30 or so, so we'll be out here training for some night landings in the shuttle training aircraft. And we've also been keeping track of the uh, events that have been taking place in the uh, development for the plans to uh, test and analyze what happened to Echo Sensor 2 a week and a half ago during the launch countdown. And uh, my crew has been listening to the technical meetings and to the management meetings, and that's been very important for us to do that and to really uh, understand the problem. It's very important for us to say that we are very proud of the work that the engineers and the managers and the technicians have done over the past week and a half trying to find out what's going on with this uh, very elusive problem. And we have a lot of confidence in what they're doing, and we think they have a great plan that they're going forward with. Um, we hope that we're able to launch on Tuesday, but, you know, regardless of when we launch, you know, the launch date to us isn't that important. Um, the launch, the, what's important to us is that, you know, we uh, get through this process and that we do it right. We have, like I said, a fantastic team of people working on this. They've been putting in very, very long hours, and they've been really working hard. They're very dedicated people, uh, very dedicated to the space program, getting the shuttle flying again. And we're very, again, very, very proud of the work they're doing. And that really comes from the bottom of our hearts. So thanks to all of you out there that are uh, working away at getting the shuttle Discovery ready to fly. And uh, having said that, we're really excited about getting this launch off. We're uh, very prepared. And uh, we'll be talking to you from space. Thanks. Coming out. Brunel will head to the astronaut quarters. A teammate device in the background, should that be needed for the orbiter after uh, S-114 is completed, but the intent is to land here at the Kennedy Space Center. And that concludes our coverage of the STS-114 crew arrival. Our coverage on launch day begins at midnight. This is KSC Shuttle Ground Operations.